Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to the fantastic K8 GSXR. Now if you cast your minds back a few weeks ago I did a few jobs on this bike in the garage. We fitted the link pipe, uh, we had fitted the P3 tuning flash DCU, uh, we changed the oil and did some other sort of maintenance related jobs. I've got my MOT booked for today. If you're not in the UK an MOT, don't even know what it stands for, brand new and anyway it's a roadworthy exam where you've got to take the bike's got to pass every year if a bike's older than three years old it needs an mot so we've put the mot you're allowed to ride the bike on the road just to the mot station if you've made an appointment so i've done that but this is really about seeing what this bike is like since it's had the mods done as you can see i've all gone a little bit sensible with this but without further ado let's jump on see how she sounds now we've taken the cat off and uh, take it to the MOT station, see if she can get a pass. I'm pretty confident this is going to, if this fails, I'm going to be really, really surprised. Let's do it. Chopsy, roll that intro. Now this bike hasn't been ridden, I haven't ridden this bike for about six months. I've just come around the corner from my house, pulled the clutch to start it. Something else I've done, or well, sounds tasty, listen. She's not, she's not massively warm yet, so I'm not gonna rev her too much until she's completely warm. The K8 GSXR was like the first GSXR to have a catalytic converter. I think the K7 and K8 were the first ones to have it, so obviously before that they never had a cat on them. So when these came out, they were, the big complaint with them was, you know, it lacked mid-range because the cat and all of the Euro emission gubbins had sapped that mid-range power. Now what I'm hoping, by removing the cat and obviously having the ECU flashed, that it's going to have brought back the mid-range to this bike because it was a little bit flat in the mid-range. I mean, these, these are rocket ships when you get into the upper sort of rev range, but they were a little bit flat in that mid-range. You know, I even talked about putting a quick action throttle on it and everything. But I can tell already that I think it feels a bit more peppy. I've also changed the front sprocket. I've dropped a tooth at the front to make the gearing, you know, a bit more aggressive and better in the mid-range. Oh, someone's breaking up ahead. What's going on? We won't overtake. We've got an option on the left. <laughs> ah, bike safe. Oh yeah, she feels quite, uh, quite pep. I thought I had a blipper there. I just knocked it down without blipping. Has it got a blipper, Chopsy? It's only got a quick shifter. Don't get carried away. But that feels much more peppy already. And it's not too loud. I knew it wouldn't be too loud without the cat because I rode the Baron's K7 at the um, end of last year and he had the link pipe on his, but he didn't have a flash. He just had the link pipe taken out. So he had a lot of hunting when it was in idle because it wasn't mapped to, to match it. You know, mine doesn't do that hunting. So the maps obviously sorted that. And I knew it wouldn't be too loud because you've got two exhausts on this anyway. You've got double the silencing standard, but the amount of noise this is making, that's perfect for me. Perfect. Once we've had the MOT done, I'll try and take, if I can't get a decent run, which I'm not gonna get a decent run now, we're going into town now. But when I leave the MOT station, I'll see if I can get it on a bit of open road so we can properly test it. But first of all, let's see if she's gonna pass. If it's not gonna pass, I've got to take it over the tail between my legs <laughs> and fix what they found but I'll be very, very surprised if this doesn't fly through with flying colours. Let's see. Oh, I'm not used to that sports bike position. Not used to that weight on the wrist. I know this is, all, this, is, this is a pretty comfortable sports bike, but even this today, because I'm not used to it, it's feeling, feeling a bit wristy. Oh, it's good to be back on air. It's good to be back on her. Oh, 40. That's the end of the fun. 
Yeah, it feels much more peppy. It's got a lot more initial punch. You know, I don't feel like I need a, a quick action throttle now. Plenty of punch there. Of course, because I changed the gearing, the speedo is going to overread slightly. So even though it says I'm doing 40, you know, it'll be overreading. So I may I may get myself a, a speedo healer, you know, a Hiltec speedo healer just to correct the overreading speedo but you know as long as you go by that you've actually got yourself a bit of extra margin built in for like speed cameras and stuff haven't you so and I know I can go sort of slightly over 40 and it's only really 40 <laughs> officer your honor oh sounds sweet just just how I wanted it to sound that is not too obnoxious but just a nice tone to it. Oh, pops! Oh, it's got little pops, pops and bangs. I thought it might be. A, I thought it might pop and bang because the map. It said you know you can disconnect the pair valve system. You know the uh, the system which basically puts air through your exhaust system to sort of burn off any unburnt fuel you know it's an emissions type thing it doesn't give you any more power by you know bypassing it it stops it popping and banging <laughs> I must say I quite like a, a bit of popping and banging is my luggage still on <laughs> hope so I look like a right old square <laughs> top box yes I, I got a GSXR I, I like to fit a top box to it for practicality. Who said sports bikes aren't practical? There we go, all done. Oh look, how useful this is already. Look, I've got my gloves in here. <laughs> oh, I've also got my paperwork I can put in there without worrying of it losing out of the pocket. Useful, practical, KAGSXRs. Well, of course, it passed. There was never any uh, doubt, was there, really? She passed. No advisories. Flying colours, I think he said. <laughs> right, we are now legal. We are now fully legal. So, we can give a little bit of a tickle. Oh! more punch there now than what there was which is just what you need you know a bit of overtaking grunt it was a little bit flat before now obviously the flash has helped that a lot because these bikes also had a I'm using the <laughs> oh hasn't got a blipper chop so you can't do that oh Jesus we keep forgetting hasn't got a blipper I'm so used to riding bikes with blippers Hanging it down through the box. Ah, stop that, not it. Let's give it a little bit of a tickle up the slit road. Stay there. Oh, that pulling third. Woo! <laughs> yep. Sounds really nice. Really, really nice. Just what I wanted. Throaty, but not too loud. Little pops and bangs as well. Nice and engaging. And it's definitely got more pull. Throttle response also seems really nice as well. It was always pretty good. There was never really any snatchiness with it. It was pretty reasonable. But now it's like super smooth. Oh, they've done a wonderful job. P3 tuning, the flash, really happy with that. We, we see when we get on, you know, a bit more riding will, will really be this, the, the test, won't it? I've not done a, this is just to the MOT station and back. But without question, there's a load more grunt there. Load more grunt. 
there we go all passed ready for the season ahead so um, it's a very short sort of ride this one I've not been able to give it a proper proper test out what we'll do we'll get out with Greg hopefully the weather's going to be improving now so we can get out with Greg Womble and go for a bit of a ride down to Weymouth or something give it a decent run out with the lads and I'll uh, bring you along with me and uh, we, you can see how she is we to see what the fuel consumption has done as well. Has it affected the fuel consumption? Has it made it a bit more thirsty? I guess it could have done. I guess it could have done. But uh, let's see. So if that sounds of interest, press the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. This is power level one, which is full power. <laughs> Oh, I could do that all day. What has she done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to this.